Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So, this is another Disney princess look. Now I haven't forgotten about this series. No, I'm not stopping this series. I do plan on completing them eventually. Um, but yeah, I thought that because Frozen is coming out soon, I might as well do some Frozen looks. So this is gonna be the first one. This is gonna be Princess Anna, and I will do will be doing Queen Elsa, but she was a princess at the beginning of the first one, so she still counts. Um, so yeah, this is my Princess Anna look. I took inspiration from like her colors in her uh, dress, the navy, the purple, the pink, and everything like that. And um, if you want to see up close pictures of this, you can check out my Instagram down below. It's linked down below, so you can see it there. And yeah. I'll shut up and you can watch the tutorial and see how to get this look. Alrighty guys, so I know I've already done a video, very very long video with four looks using the Mama Mama Mitchell palette from Beauty Bay, um, but all the colours that are in that palette go with Anna. Um, so I'm thinking pinks, purpley pinks, um, purples, blues, navies, golds, greens, all the colours that's in her dresses. Uh, her one dress and her cloak kind of thing and um, I will be doing my hair and pigtails in a while because why not and it's really gross at the end so you know let's just hide that and ignore the fact that it looks like this right now um so yeah we're gonna do all of that stuff gorgeous sparkly lip um yeah I've got ideas going so let's get on with the look before we get too into the video to start with, I'm just gonna go through what I already have on my face. This is the H&M Flawless Finish All Day Liquid Foundation. I don't think I've ever used this on camera, but um, and I haven't used it in a while, but I kind of like it. Um, yeah, it's nice, it's nice. And it's actually a really, really good color match for me. Um, that's in the shade, what shade? Porcelain, you know, standard. Um, and then on my brows, I've got my e.l.f. Um, brow kit, this guy with the little wax and the powder, I've just used the powder in the shade light um, through my brows and that is it. So to prime my eyes I'm going to do the MAC 24 hour extend eye base, this is a different eyeshadow primer than I use in my 4 Lux 1 palette using this palette, um, if you're curious I'll link it down below. Um, I just want to see how this works and I'm also going to do a cut crease as well, well maybe, might not, I might change it, we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pop this all over my eye, all the way up to my brow, a little bit, just along my lower lash lines. Okay, I've just zoomed you in a little bit, I hope you don't mind looking at my face up close. Um, so yeah, let's get on with this look. So let's take the M -M 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 Mitchell palette, um, I'm actually going to hold it up a little bit for you. And I'm gonna start with the shade Milkshake, so the kind of milkshake, strawberry milkshake sort of looking colour. It's a matte, kind of cool tone, candy floss sort of pink. Um, and I'm gonna take a Makeup Geek soft on brush, um, just to kind of pop this into the crease, just as our pink transition shade. Just to give us something to blend the other pinks into. Okay, and there we have that on and lovely and blended. Making sure just up here is super blended and then down here is actually, you know, it doesn't really matter because we more than likely gonna cut the crease. Um, the next shade I'm gonna take is Morning Glory. It's this super neon bright pink down here. Um, and I'm gonna take that on a Real Techniques point, not Real Techniques, Makeup Geek pointed crease brush. Just taking a little bit at a time with this one because it's so pigmented and it does stain. I I can't really kind of stain my eyes a little bit, but not nothing too noticeable for me anyway. Um, as you will probably know already from uh, watching a few of my videos, most colors stain my eye. Not just pinks and reds. I'm talking greens. I'm talking blues. I'm talking purples. They all have a tendency to stain my eyes. I think it's just my skin. So I'm just taking this into my crease a little bit more. Making sure in here has a good bit of product as well because if we do cut the crease, I want to see a difference between the cut part and the crease part. So making sure that it's noticeable that there's color there. Okay, so now we're flipping over to the kind of cooler side and I'm gonna take the shade Motto, which is a gorgeous like aubergine purple shade. 
it's fluff on it. Um, and I'm gonna take that also a matte shade. And for that one, I'm gonna take a Makeup Geek Defined Crease Brush. There's a theme going on here with these brushes. I'm um, just taking a little bit at a time and really tapping it off. And I wanna define the socket more. So obviously the bright pink is gorgeous and bright, but I do want more depth. And the kind of, she does wear pink but it's kind of like there's a purple hint off some of the pink that she wears. So I just want to get a little bit more purple in. So I'm going to add that as the depth and have it blend out to the brighter pink. And again with this one, bringing it right in so that way it'll be more depth here. So when we cut the crease, it's more defined. Then I'm going back in with my pointed crease brush with the Morna Glory shade on it. Just to pink it back up again blending at the edge of that purple okay so we are all lovely and blended i do have a little bit of fallout from the kind of pink and the darker purpley kind of color that's fine um i don't really care i'm gonna do my under eyes afterwards anyway um so let's move on to the actual cut crease so for my cut crease i'm going to use if i can find it where is it going there it is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I do tend to use this a lot as my eyeshadow primer, so I thought it'd be a good call to use it as my cut creasey cut crease. Um, oh, let me get a little brush actually, that'd be a bit easier. I'm gonna use this really, really, really finely flat brush from BH Cosmetics. This is from the Rose Gold set. This is the number seven brush from it. Um, and I'm gonna load some of that up onto, load some of that concealer up onto that brush. Good bit. Don't be afraid of the the concealer for the cut crease. You don't want to run out while you're doing the cut crease. Well, it's okay to run out a little bit, but you want enough to get like your defined line when you actually put it down like that. And I always start a bit lower than I mean to. And work up to how high I want it to be. Okay, so for the lid, we're going to do three different colors to kind of three other colors that are in her um, dress. And those three colors is like a mint, a purple, and like a navy sort of color is the main color of her skirt. So I'm gonna say she's got like minty colored sleeves. So there isn't actually a mint, although there is one called minty, but it's a duochrome, which we're not gonna use. Um, I want the lid to be kind of matte as well. Um, so these are all gonna be matte. But I am going to dip out of this palette and dip into my Inglot. This is just my own made, I made it myself kind of palette from Inglot. I'm going to take this shade here. Where is he? There he is. Um, it's a matte minty shade and this one is 345. And I'm going to take that on a little flat brush, any sort of flat brush will do. And we're just gonna press this onto the inner third of the lid, all the way up to the crease. And just get it as opaque as you can. It's actually kind of similar to the color of my pajama top right now. Okay, so now I have that all lovely and on the eyes. I'm gonna go in with the shade Morgan, which is this purpley matte shade here. Very beautiful matte. I'm gonna take a different flat brush. Again, any sort of flat, slightly smaller brush will do. Pick that up and tap that off, and we're just gonna press this into the center. And you might think it's a bit weird that I'm doing like blue, purple, blue. Um, it's just kind of the way I want the colors to go. I don't really know why. Because this is kind of the lighter color, and then the navy I want to be the darkest, so. And that's the way I want to do it. I'm going to go back in with that minty sort of shade. Just wiggle over where they meet. And then go back in with some purple and wiggle over where they meet. Okay, and then next on the same little flapper should be used for the minty shade because it's a blue and then I'm going to use blue. Um, I'm going to go in to the shade Moody Mitch, which is this gorgeous navy, which is exactly the colour of her skirt which is awesome and this is why this palette worked out quite well for me so we're just going to use the other side of that brush and we're just going to pop this on this outer corner this lid part is the bit i was like really worried about so i don't know how this is actually going to turn out we'll see 
This could be one of these looks that I might hate until I put my liner on. But actually, I kind of like it. Hmm, let's see. Okay, so now before I continue on any further, I'm going to do my under eye concealer. I've kind of tidied away any little bits of fallout, but I'm going to tidy it properly now. Do my under eye concealer and then we'll move on to the lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm all lovely and concealed. I'm gonna go in with this little small little flat brush that I have here. A lot of these brushes, this is from Charles Fox. I don't actually know what number it is though. Um, a lot of my brushes are just ones I've gotten over the years and I don't actually know where I got them really. Um, but I'm gonna take that brush, I'm just on the very tip of that brush, I'm gonna take the shade Motto, so the dark purple that we use to deepen the crease. And we are just gonna take that really close to your lashes. Definitely want to tap these colours off now because I have concealed my lower lash line and my under eyes. Just make sure it gets right in there. And also make sure it connects out here. Okay, so now I have that all along my lower lash line. We're going to just blend that out a little bit. And as we know, I like a heavy blend under my lower lash line. I'm gonna go back in with that Morning Glory shade. I'm gonna take my Define Crease brush again from Makeup Geek, what we used for the dark purple up here in the crease, but I've wiped it off and I'm gonna take a little bit of that Morning Glory and we're just gonna smudge that just along the edge. We basically want it to look like how this one looks up here, um, just so that we get a nice soft blend. And then just come back in with a little bit of that milkshake shade just on the very tip of the soft dome brush from Make Geek and just run the tip of that brush right along the edges again to soften that edge, make it super soft. Okay, so this next step I've just thought of now, so I don't actually know how this is going to turn out because it wasn't part of my original plan. Um, so this is the MAC Reflex Transparent Teal. This is from the Trolls collection, but this is something that you can get all the time if it's in stock. Um, it's one of the most beautiful glitters you'll ever find in your entire life, and I love wearing it as a highlight on my cheeks. I won't be doing that today, but I do want to do an inner corner highlight, so I am going to take just kind of what's in the lid on a little, small little eyeshadow brush. Just pop that in here. You'll notice as well that I'm not actually connecting it here with the purple. I wanna leave a little gap there for my little thing that I wanna add later on. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to my liner now. Um, I'm gonna mix two liner colors together. Um, the first one that I have is the Cafondi ink liner in the shade Dali, which is like this deep kind of oceany, tealy kind of colour. And then I've also got the NYX Vivid Bright liner in the shade Envy. Um, it doesn't come out this bright, it comes out more muted than this. This is just how the packaging looks. And maybe mine's gone a bit funny coloured, but I'm not sure. Um, it works fine on my hand, but I've made a concoction like, like I kind of test on my hand. I'm gonna layer them over each other, so hopefully it goes okay. Um, so I'm just gonna line my eye, just a normal wing. I'll probably do this off camera, at least with this one, um, just to save a bit of time. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I've got both of them on. Okay, so now my liner is on. My NYX, this one, the Vivid Bright one, is a little bit dry, so it's a bit cracky on one side. So whatever side looks best in the pictures, they're the ones you'll see in the thumbnail. So yeah. Um, and there's the ones you'll see on Instagram, by the way, down below is where my Instagram is linked. Just to let you know if you want to see up close pictures of all this and any of my looks, it will be down there. So I want to move on to the little thing that I just want to add in because it does go with her dress um, and the colours in her dress. So the green is obviously the little vines decoration thing that's on her dress. And the leaves on that though and like flowers and stuff like that are like pink and gold. So I'm going to go back into my M -M -M Mitchell palette. We're going to take the shade Melted, which is this gorgeous, beautiful yellow gold. And I'm gonna take that just on, this is a number seven essential lip brush, but it's like a flat little stubby brush. Um, and we're just gonna pick up a little bit of that. And I wanna just pop it kinda here. Now I could have left a gap for this, but the color comes out so pigmented that I don't really think I need to. Then I'll stick in a little bit of that as well. And that little gap that we left in here between the reflex teal and the purple. Do a small little bit of that in there. Okay, and now moving on to my waterline, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay 24 seven Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Mars, which is this beautiful emerald green to tie in with the green that's on my upper lash line. 
and I'm just popping that onto my waterline. So I've already kind of started, but I'm gonna go in with my MAC Extended Play Mascara. Um, I'm not sure if I'm almost out of this or not yet. Um, I don't know if it's time to move on to a different one yet. It has not been six months. They say three to six months. Um, this one still makes a little pop noise as, it, as you open it, which means it's usually wet enough. But I am finding it a bit more difficult to get it onto my lashes. Or get my lashes the way I like them to look. Which I don't normally with this mascara, so I think it's on its way out. Okay, and then I'm gonna finish my eyes off with some lashes. Ignore the little dot of mascara there. I will clean it up as soon as it's completely dry because it comes off easier that way. But for my lashes, I have chosen my Kiss. What are these? Look so natural. Yeah. <laughs> it's a multi-pack of these sort of lashes here. I'm just gonna take the first ones. Oh, they're called Flirty. Sorry, I just seen it in the mirror. Um, so I'm gonna take a pair of those and I'm gonna pop those on off camera and I'll be back to finish off my face. Okay, so lashes are on and I have concealed and set my face with powder. I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Dallas bronzer and I'm gonna take this brush, which I don't know if I actually used on camera, I'm pretty sure I did before them. This is a MAC 140 SES, so it's basically a short handle, synthetic, big, massive fan brush. Um, I'm just gonna take some of that on and we're just gonna very lightly go into the hollows of my cheeks. Okay, and then on to blusher. I want something soft and pink. Um, I am gonna go in with my Sleek Pink Lemonade Blush by Three. I freaking love these blush palettes, by the way. These are some of my favorite products. Um, I'm gonna take this one here, which is Pink Mint, and I'm just taking this on a Makeup Revolution little cheek brush. We're just gonna buff this on. This has a sheen to it, but I am gonna do more of a gold and highlight just so it matches with the eyes. Okay, and then for my highlight on my cheeks, I'm going to do two highlights. The first thing I'm going to take is the MUA Lux Set and Reflect Finishing Kit. It's got this like gorgeous golden, very pale gold shade. It's also got a setting powder in it, which is quite cool. But I think this will go really nice with the gold on my eyes, because I can't go that gold on my cheek. And the other one I'm going to put on has more gold in it, but this is like a light, very, very light gold. So this will give me the highlight, like the brightness. To my cheeks and then for my second highlight i'm gonna take the huda beauty winter highlight palette this guy and i'm gonna take the shade northern lights which is this really really strong gold but i'm gonna take this on a real techniques fan brush these are very like foil almost like foil shadow kind of effect so you just need a tiny little bit but i'm just sweeping that on top just to give more gold as you can see on this side it's more white and this side now is more gold. Okay, for my lips I'm going to do a bright pink lip. I'm not holding back for this look. I'm going to go in with the sleek twist up lip pencil in the shade Raspberry. And I'm just going to line my lips with this one. And the lipstick I'm going to put on is even brighter than this. Because this I'd say is like your standard pink. The lipstick I'm going to put on is like neon pink. And then for the actual lipstick, I'm gonna go in with the shade Silly from MAC. Don't know if they make this one anymore, but it's very close to Candy Yum Yum. It's probably not as like candy floss looking, um, but it's very similar and it's a matte finish. So I'm gonna pop that on. Ooh, nice and bright. Okay, so now that that is on, you could definitely leave it like this, but to me, this is nearly too bright for this eye. It's like taking away from the eye. So I'm gonna add this, I'm gonna do a sparkly lip. I love these so much. I don't really use them in my videos, but I freaking love this. So this is the Sleek schla Schlattered? Shattered Glass, <laughs> I can tell I'm tired. Um, Intense Glitter Effect Lip Topper. This is in the shade Acid Kiss. It's this gorgeous like purpley magenta kind of color. And they're so sparkly. Alrighty guys, that is your finished look. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I'm I'm unsure about the lip, but like I'm I'm gonna leave it on because I do quite like the kind of look of it. It looks frosty like frozen. Um, but it's a bit darker than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be more pink than this, but um, in real life it actually doesn't look too bad on camera, it kinda looks quite dark, but whatever. Um, so yeah, this is your finished look. This is the Disney Princess Anna 
look and I love this and I got my little pigtails on. I'm um, sort of like a 12 year old and that's fine. But yeah, if you did like this video, then give a thumbs up down below. Let me know you like it. Also hit subscribe, uh, hit subscribe <laughs> down below to see my Queen Elsa look and more videos and tutorials coming up and also leave, let me know in the comments what you think of the lip actually let me know what you think of the lip do you like the lip or should i have gone more pink i think eh, you could have just left it with the lip take the topper as a option that's all up to you so then it's your call so yeah i'll see you in the next video guys bye